Hi, everybody. This is Marie. And this is Meg. And this is Mission Impossible. Today, we are joining you to share some of our strategies for the holidays that are coming up here soon. Uh, we know that many of you are looking for ways to avoid putting on those extra pounds, especially in this time of COVID when you may have already put on the COVID-19. Um, so in order to avoid some extra holiday uh, pounds, we're here to give you some tips on how you can continue your Optavia journey even through the, the upcoming holidays. That's right. And we have seven tips all together. I'll take the lead with the first one, which is making a decision. You know, when you go into the holidays, a lot of times people just kind of go with the flow. It's like whatever the in-laws are doing, whatever the hosts are serving, things like that. And the first thing you need to do heading into the holidays is deciding if you want to be 100% on plan, 50% on plan, 0%, like what, what is your intention for this holiday season and how you're going to get through it? Because your result is going to be dictated by that decision. Right. Um, and I'll just add like, to, to me, it is not a defeatist sort of uh, position to say, I'm going to be 50%. Right. You know, like you have to consider the challenges that you're facing, you know, how successful you've been to this point, your confidence in approaching these situations, and being realistic with yourself, I think is a big win in and of itself. I agree that the being realistic is really great because you want to come out of the day not feeling guilty or, you know, whatever the holiday is, because that could just end up being in a spiral. So I think the important part is making that decision and then, and then just accepting that that's the decision and then following through on that and then you're going to feel good even if it's not 100 percent on program that's right stick to your guns yep so speaking of sticking i think our tip number two is trying as much as possible to stick to your normal routine so if you um typically get up and do your exercise in the morning get a little motion in um, and maybe you do some journaling or some meditation, whatever your normal practices are that help keep you focused and on a rhythm, try to stick to those as much as possible because that will kind of put your body and your mind in mindset into an automatic, this is how I, this is how I run my day and this is like any other day so that it's going to be more encouraging for you to keep on with your healthy habits that you've established. Yeah, and so many studies show that, you know, your behaviors are very much dictated by the group that you're hanging out with. Mm. And so imagine that you are the healthy person in your group that is bringing other people along with you. So uh, I don't know many people who when you're like, I'm going to actually go take a walk, you know, right. do you want to come with me? Um, that they're like, no, why don't you sit on the couch with me? It's better, you know? <laughs> Usually they feel guilty, like, oh, I should be walking too. Right, um, and then and thankful that someone is, is uh, taking that initiative to get, get everybody in motion. Exactly. Um, in terms of our third tip, uh, let's say you're, you know, planning out your day. You do not want to go into the main event of the day hungry. Oh, you no. Know? It, it, that's a bad plan. Just like you don't go to the grocery store hungry. Right. Um, Do not save all of your calories, fuelings to the event because then you're going to be so hungry that you don't care anymore. Right. Yeah, exactly. And so um, to the extent possible, if you can look at your day and kind of plan out and, you know, maybe have a fueling an hour or so before you go to the larger dinner or um, gathering or whatever and, and, of course, 2020 is very different with gatherings and expectations for what holidays look like. Um, so even in a, in a distanced way, um, kind of having that uh, fuelings laid out so you're not going and just starving and ready to eat anything. Right. And then if you are getting together with others, um, and maybe it's a situation where folks are each kind of bringing something to share, 
Um, our fourth tip is make sure that you volunteer to bring something, be one of the first people to volunteer to bring something, and, and make sure that you bring something that you are able to eat, something that you know is healthy and it's gonna help you stay on track, so that regardless of what anybody else is bringing to the event, you know that there's something there that you can feel good about um, consuming. So I tend to be the one who's always like, I'll bring the veggie tray because then I know I at least have some vegetables there that I can munch on. If nothing else, I, I can fill up on veggies. Yeah, or you can use it as a time to introduce everyone to the Optivia brownies. <laughs> oh, that is a nice idea. Or the brownie with a little PB2 on it. Mm. Yeah, the little mini brownies. Yeah. I mean, people will pop those back and guarantee they won't be like, oh, this is diet food. <laughs> well, I, you know, it's interesting that you say that because I was just thinking about hosting a very small COVID compliant get together with some friends of mine. And I thought it might be interesting to have a little sampling of some of some of the items that I've been eating just to share with them to say, you know, this food is really good. These feelings are really delicious. Cause sometimes they look at it like, that's all you get to eat. And I'm like, but it's really tasty. Yeah. So I thought they might enjoy at least just getting a chance to try some of them and see um, how, how delicious the Optivia feelings are. Well, that dovetails nicely with our tip number five, which is to use some of the fuelings to replace your holiday favorites. Now, there are straightforward things like instead of mashed potatoes, having some of the garlic parmesan smashed potato fueling. Yes. Um, but there's other stuff that you can do with all these fueling hacks that are out there. I mean, people do wizardry with a fueling hack, some baking soda, and an egg white, and like you've got a cake or something. Yeah, they like totally <laughs> transform some of these fuelings. It's pretty amazing. Um, one, I, I found one online that I was I'm interested in trying here for Thanksgiving. It's using the honey sweet potatoes and turning it into a sweet potato pie. So you can um, take one packet and add in two tablespoons of light cream cheese, that counts as one fat, one ounce of coconut milk, and that counts as a quarter condiment, and then a quarter teaspoon pumpkin pie spice. That's another half condiment. And then if you would like, there's an option to add two tablespoons of you know, your light whipped cream on top. But this sounds really tasty to me um, and a great alternative to pumpkin pie or actual sweet potato pie. So and while you can still feel like you're able to indulge in a dessert at the same time as everyone else is. Yeah, I mean, so often you just want that like kind of seasonal flavor, right? Not necessarily like the you know full diesel, right? Version of that thing. So th I think that's a great tip. Yeah, and then the other one is um, one of your favorites, biscuits. Yes, you can do a lot with a biscuit. I I haven't seen any yet, but I think you could probably like bake the biscuit and. Um, and then like cut it up and make like a little mini stuffing. Yes. Um, I Especially have used... it's got that rosemary and herbs in there. So mm -hmm. I think it would go very nicely as a stuffing. Maybe even add a little bit um, more water to the mix to make it a little moister. Yeah, I mean, I've had success um, also using the biscuit and then crumbling it up into breadcrumbs and doing like a meatball. So let's say you're doing like hors d'oeuvre size something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could do a turkey meatball, a beef meatball, maybe even like a lamb meatball, um, mm -hmm. and that would be higher fat, but those things taste really good and it has some of the seasonings in there. Yeah. So definitely do a search. There's plenty of hacks, fueling hacks out there. We just, you know, giving you a couple of previews for some that are out there, but definitely explore those as a good option. Um, another item, this is tip number six is to make sure you are staying hydrated. Water is great for also helping you to fill up so that you don't, some, don't confuse. Also hunger um, and thirst. Um, so if you are at an event, whether it's at your place or with others, and there maybe it's a grazing situation where there's food out and people are socializing, if you have a drink in your hand, and I'm not talking about an alcoholic drink, although that would be nice, but that's not what I mean. But like maybe you have a soda, a diet soda, or an iced tea, or a lemonade, something that's compliant, sugar-free, um, no-calorie beverage, 
um, in your hand, you're less likely to feel the need to like be picking, you know, some nuts or chips or whatever might be on the table if you've got your hands occupied by holding a drink and sipping on a drink and then you're just constantly kind of refilling your stomach with a little bit of um, liquid to help keep you hydrated and help keep your tummy full so that you're not um, snacking before even the time for your meal comes. Yeah, I mean, that's the perfect example of like, when you don't trust your brain to make the decision, just like take the option away, like put something else in your hand. You can't drink, have a drink in your hand and pick up, you know, whatever bread roll or whatever (laughs) might be tempting you. I'm a big bread person, but um, yeah. Then in that case, it's like, let's override the system a little bit. Exactly. Like, like make it not a choice. Just keep your hands occupied. (laughs) Exactly. Um, And that brings us to our final tip, which is just kind of a little bit of motivation that, you know, wherever you are in your health journey, you've made a commitment to, you know, better yourself. And it's hard sometimes. Um, And it's never easy to like go into a situation and feel like you're the special one. You're the one that has all the special requests or you can't eat this or you can't join people for drinks or what have you. But on the flip side, you are on your own path and you can imagine how great it will feel after the fact to go home. You know, you drive home or you turn off your Zoom as the case may be after a holiday meal and you go, you know what? Like I stuck to my plan. Like I don't have to wake up guilty tomorrow trying to make up for yesterday. Um, You know, I don't feel bad. You know, sometimes there's physical effects of, you know, overindulging that you're like, Oh, I I really regret that. (laughs) Um, And so just imagining how great you'll feel on the other side of it, because I know so often um, in years past, I would go into holidays, regardless of whether I was on a different eating plan or not, and being like, well, you know, there goes a week of progress. And I think that that's a really hard, that that's a much harder place to be than saying, I made a plan to deviate 50%. I deviated 50% Mm -hmm. and I'm not going to lose 12 pounds this month, but I feel great about where I'm, I am and in control of those decisions. And, um, like Dr. Ray says in the life book that I was just like kind of flipping through, but one of them is like, in order to be successful, you have to take control over your decisions. You just, you can't kind of let yourself uh, flop in the wind, you, you have to take ownership and control. And this is one way to do that. What better time than during the holidays? And it's a gift right. to yourself, really. And it kind of really goes back to his um, mantra of stop, challenge, and choose. So right now, before the holidays hit, stop, think about the challenges that you're going to be facing um, and what your situations you're going to be in for the holidays and challenge yourself. Okay, what is what is the choice you're going to make in this situation? Going back to step one, which is really making that decision, choosing whether you're going to indulge or not and how much, and, and then envisioning your success and following through on that. And you know, one, one other thing that wasn't really one of our tips, but if you share that commitment with others who are going to be there, that's another way to help hold yourself accountable. If you share in advance, I'm bringing something that I can eat. I am committed to staying on my program or I'm only going to indulge in dessert or, you know, if you state what your commitment is up front to others, you're more likely to keep that and also to yourself. So um, that's, those are our tips for, for the holidays coming up. We hope that they've helped you to stay on program Um, and your mission at this point, should you choose to accept it is to join us on this predictable transformation journey. So reach out to us to become an Optivian or subscribe to stay mission focused until next time.